if we allow planned and bad governance in Nigerian protests, it will spread to other African countries, Deputy Speaker Benjamin Carlos said. The lawmaker made this call while speaking on Arise TV on Thursday, saying that the protest would spread across Africa if it is allowed to happen in Nigeria on August 1st, 2024. Welcome back to our channel. This channel keeps you updated on everything going on in our country, Nigeria. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Listen to the news in full benjamin kalu the deputy speaker of the house of representatives has urged the nigerian government not to allow the planned nationwide protest to take place the lawmaker made this call while speaking on a rice tv on thursday saying that the protest would spread across africa if it is allowed to happen in nigeria on august 1st 2024 he also expresses disappointment that Nigerians want to imitate smaller countries like Kenya by planning the nationwide protests. He said, why the news about the protests got to the highest point at the moment is because Kenya had an outing. Kenya is a smaller country compared to 240 million people. Kenya is a small country compared to Nigeria. We can't be taking examples of this kind of ugly outing from countries like Kenya. I don't mind words. I said it on the floor of the parliament. The Kenya should copy from us. They should copy that when policies are laid down, these policies take time to mature for implementation. And we should show them that there are non kinetic approaches to the resolutions of issues rather than conflicts, correction, and crisis. Why are we the bigger brothers in Africa if we do what lesser countries do? What example are we giving to them? If we carry on with this protest, a lot of other small countries would be involved because Nigeria has done it. We would not be doing only this nation a diverse a disservice the surgeon would go into chaos as well as africa as a continent we have to think about those who are watching us as their big brother and look at where the solutions lie. sarah reporter had reported how nigerians had started mobilizing themselves in thousands to hold a public demonstration across the country tagged as in bad governance in Nigeria. The protests aim to express their displeasure over the hardship the president's Bolatinobu led administration has created. In a video seen by Sarah reporters, a consigned youth was seen using a sound amplifier to enlighten people and traders inside the popular Kaya market in Kano State on the road for their massive participation in the planned nationwide process. Um, he told um, Kano residents that this was the best opportunity for them to stand against age-long bad governance in Nigeria and should not be intimidated by what his ruling class had been saying about the protests. Sarah reporter also reported that the organizers of the planned nationwide protest had written to the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory FCC, Moiso Mweke, seeking that the Eagle Square be made available for the peaceful protest between August 1st and August 10, 2024. So my country people now just see waiting the talk the talks they will not go for this protest concerning say we in Nigeria may be bigger brothers to all and be bigger brother to other African countries say make we no go for this protest but this is the only opportunity for Nigerian voice to be heard by the government because the hardship and economy of this country is beyond our imagination is beyond what we can bear anymore so some nigerians don't really ask concerning this case we see waiting the talk concerning now 
other African countries are ahead of Nigeria to liberate their countries from the shadow of corrupt old political criminals, Nigeria are just trying to join the moving train of liberation. How I wish Nigerians could set aside ethno-religious sentiments and go after this cryptocrat. Africa would be liberated, something that has already begun in other African countries since. Nigerians are only sleeping all this while, but they have woken up now. Government doesn't need protests to do what is right. The energy they are putting in stopping the protests should be directed to the development of the country because they are targeting all the energy concerning this protest when they are supposed to target the energy in the development of this country. But no, they are there by releasing and instructing um, different um, um, police concerning this, trying to find a way to protect themselves from this protest instead of them channeling their um, attention in the development of the country. Africa needs another push, a second independence movement to liberate her from these neo colonialists who are even worse than the imperialists that independence was gotten from years ago because this government we don't understand them anymore. People should be more worried about being corrupt and bad leaders than being worried about legitimate protests for of citizens against the corruption because uh the governments currently are being corrupt so much that we don't know what um tomorrow might even be like if we should keep quiet we can't keep this um fight for our unborn children to fight we need to protest now so that the governments can do what they are meant to do as a leader and resolve um, um, revolve this country for us to be a better place so my country people and i don't say this from nigeria and don't react concerning this matter say revolution is coming to africa say more we carry on this protest because now the only means we governments go for hear our voice so make me know your own thoughts for the comment section below thank you and bye for now